Okay, Sean. OAC, grade school districts. It's getting fun already. Yeah, right? No Crazy stuff happening, but uh, you know, let's talk about first off, great district, right? Yeah. Division Division Three? Yeah, well, this is Division One and one and three wrestling right now, and then two and four being the afternoon session. Division three is usually the largest division, correct? Yes, that's usually the biggest division. We had a couple weight classes close out actually at thirty-two even. Oh wow. Three. Wow. Yeah, I know eighty pounds is a huge eighty is one and seventy-five is the other. That's the most we've ever had. In a grade school division, we had one close out in our district in junior high before. But, uh, this is a lot of kids here today. Yeah. You and, uh, look. You look at the OAC. You know, you've been with them for a long time and talking to Jared out for how long you've been working with them. Uh, this is my eighth year working here, and then I actually ran, helped them run the first state tournament they had at East Liverpool, and then I ran the brackets for the next four or five years when they ran the tournaments before Doug System took over. So, so I've been from the beginning. 20 years, yeah. So you're those people they talk about that they rely on, and you know, it's like Coach Trussell says, you win with people. Yeah, you're one yeah. of those people. I'm one of them guys. I've been, I'm a lifer. It's two decades, yeah. Looking at it, though, is there a better organization to run? No, no. It, I jumped in on the, you know, the beginning of this, and I'm grateful to, to have it here in Steubenville. This is where my kids go to school and stuff, too, so we're grateful to have it. We run it a junior high district and a grade school district, and, you know, the community comes together and helps out, and it, and OAC is great to wait, you know, to work for. No problem there ever. So you do a junior high district and an elementary or grade school district back to back. Yeah, we had last last weekend, last Sunday was our junior high district. We had like uh, 350 kids there, and then we had about 470 here today. So, yeah. As far as building community, you talk about how you know you've been with them for 20 years. What do you think about how AC gives back to the community? Uh, definitely give them back, and we're, we're happy to have it here too, so our kids don't have to drive. And then we're welcoming, you know, other people to come down and, and compete against us from different communities. The OEC is getting bigger and bigger and better, I think, as it as it's went along. Okay, two title sponsors for me that make it happen for me is Defense Soap, Guy Seiko. I see their product out here. Defense Soap got it all over the place. Yep, the last two tournaments. And then I also see my man Schmidt. He's out here hustling for me right now. And it, you know, you got his corner rugs as well. Yes, and he absolutely. He makes it right here, as a matter of fact. Absolutely, right down the road. I've known Mike. Uh, 20, 30 years too. So I mean, I've known him forever too. Uh, actually, he graduated high school right before the year I started teaching at Wellsville. So we were that close to me almost being his coach. What type of guy is Mike Smith? Uh, Mike's a stand-up guy. Probably works too much. That would be the big thing with Mike. Yeah, I tell you what, kids. When people say that about someone, and that's yeah. usually a compliment. Almost, <laughs> but like you know, he, he grinds. The guy grinds. He's always working. He's always trying to help the sport of wrestling out. No I don't doubt. think they make him better than that. No. No doubt he's dedicated to his family and, and wrestling and his business. I mean, it's good stuff. you got another 20 years of OAC left in you. Probably. Why not? <laughs> I'm only 46. You're in your 60s. I love it. Why not? All right. Uh, we got another two divisions coming up in the afternoon. You got anything else for me? Nope. We're just starting our weigh-ins for them, and everything seems to be going good today. Sean, thanks for the time. Good luck to you, and see you in Youngstown. Yep. Thank you for